you also said last night, uh, uh, um, your talk uh, just um, somehow summarized that uh, the modern medicine and uh, in the West and, and healthcare basically in the West is is somehow in dire straits because oh, yeah. you talked about how evidence-based medicine has become an illusion. Yes. Please uh, tell us a little bit about that. Um, I think the way to start off with that is that um, John Ioannidis, mm-hmm. who I, let me defer to him. I call him the Stephen Hawking of medicine, mm. most cited medical researcher, mathematical genius, professor of medicine at Stanford. In 2006, he published a paper called why, in, in PLOS One, which is a major medical journal, why most published research findings are false. I'll, I'll elaborate in a second on that. In 2015, Richard Horton, who I also know, editor of The Lancet, editor of The Lancet, which is mm-hmm. one of the biggest medical journals in the world, he wrote in an article that there was a Chatham House Rules meeting with some of the world's top scientists. Okay, Chatham House Rules basically means where you you don't identify who said what. Some mm-hmm. people feel more open to speak. It's kind of like a secret meeting. Okay, but he said under Chatham House Rules, one of the world's top academics was there and said possibly half of the published medical literature may simply be untrue. Okay. In these major medical journals like yeah. The Lancet yeah, and this, all yeah. these. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. So how do I explain that rationally? And this is what most doctors don't know. When clinical trials are conducted by the drug industry, which is most of the research now, medical research, mm-hmm. they design the trials, they publish the results, they hold on to the raw data, mm-hmm. often can be tens of thousands of pages long on every patient in the trial and what was happening with them. Okay. Mm-hmm. The summary results are then given to the regulators who now take most of their money from pharma. So even the chairman of the BMA at a conference I spoke to a couple of years ago was shocked. The chairman of the British Medical Association didn't even know Mm -hmm. that when I told him 86% of the funding of our regulator in the UK, the MHRA comes from Big Pharma, 65% of the FDA's funding. That's a a fact. In Australia, 90, call hard facts, BMJ investigation, 96% of the funding in Australia's regulator TGA comes from Big Pharma, right? Most doctors don't know that. Mm -hmm. So it's a huge bias. But they hold on to the road. So what the, the, and what does that mean? Almost without exception, the results of any trial published in medical journals which drug industry sponsored will exaggerate grossly the benefits and safety of those medications, which means people are not getting fully informed consent mm-hmm. for the purposes of making sure you get as many people taking those drugs. So this is the system, mm-hmm. right? Um, it's actually based upon corporate capitalism. That's what it is. We have to understand the reasons, the economic system that's got us there through ideology, Okay, which comes from this idea about free market, mm-hmm. right? Let's allow the markets to be free so they can innovate and develop lots of things and deregulate them. The problem is, Frosty, it's not a free market. It hasn't been for a long time, even if whether it's food industry or drug industry or other industries. Mm-hmm. It's a freedom to deceive market. It's a freedom to manipulate. It's a freedom to exploit and it's a freedom to dominate. There's no free market. This is bullshit, part of my language. But it's absolute nonsense. This must so, be so, fraudulent but, 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 uh, in oh, yes. some sense. Oh, oh uh, it is. Oh, it yeah. is. The business model of big pharma is fraud. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And there's no regulatory uh, nope. entity that... Uh, no. And even <clears> when they have been found guilty for committing fraud <clears> over, over the years, nothing changes in the system to stop them doing it again. They, they, they pay fines, often millions, if not billions of dollars, mm. right? But... The fines they pay is a small fraction of the profits that they make from the drug. Mm -hmm. Nobody gets fired, right? And no one goes to jail, and they continue doing the same thing. It's the cost of business for them, Frosty. Yeah, and they just speed up their business to pay for the fines. The diagnosis of the entity that is Big Pharma is psychopathic, right? Mm -hmm. They are pathologically self-interested entities that are there to make money, and they don't care who they harm in the process as long as they make the money. Mm -hmm. And this is not conspiracy. This is cold hard facts, and I would challenge anybody in the world to debate me on this issue. They won't be able to. So it's easier to smear me and say, well, Dr. Mahoch has lost his mind because he lost his father or he's exploiting people for attention. You know, this is old school tactics. You know, there's nothing new here.